Okay, mathematicians, this question asks us to multiply 84 and 27. And we're going to use the method down here that they show us. Now, 84, as you can see, is broken up into 80 plus 4, and 27 is broken up into 20 plus 7. So we're going to find partial products. The first partial product we need to find is 80 times 20. Now, a trick that I like to use when multiplying with zeros is I know that however many zeros I'm multiplying is how many zeros will be at the end of my product. So I have 8 times 2 is 16, and I had 1020, which is equal to 1600. The next partial product we're going to find is 7 times 80 going across. Again, I'm going to use the same trick of zeros. I have 8 times 7 is 56. There's one zero in the problem, which means one zero in my product. Now, what's important to remember when multiplying with zeros is the zeros have to come at the end of your factor. You can't have a zero in the middle and still just add that zero to the end. Next up, we have the partial product of 4 times 20. 20 times 4 will give us a total of 80. And last but not least, we have 4 times 7, and that's a math fact. I know it's 28. Now, I've covered all the areas around the rectangle. These are all our partial products. In order to get our whole number product, our whole answer, we have to add all of these up. So I'm going to start by adding 1600 plus 560, which will give me 2160. I'm going to X these out because I've already added them. Next, I need to add in 80 more, which will give me 2,240. I've added that in. And last, I have to add in the 28, which will give me 2,268, which is your final product of multiplying 84 and 27.